is Sanji from Mystic Mountain Homestead and today I'm going to teach you how to measure your hog for butcher. I'm going to use this handy dandy hay string because my tape measure isn't long enough. But I'm going to show you how you can take what you got and make it work. So the first way we're going to measure this hog is around his um, heart girth. And that is right behind the front legs all the way around. So hopefully Red Boy lets me do this. Our pigs are pretty docile. We get Durox for the most part because they are docile. Pull it around and measure right here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to add my handy dandy duct tape that I pre-made that says girth. Put that on there. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to measure from the base of his ears to the base of his tail. So right here is the base of his ears. Bring it out the whole length of him right down his spine. Be still, red boy. And I need to go to the base of his tail right here. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy duct tape, the piece that says L, and put it on to measure his length. So I'm going to take this up to the house and we're going to measure it and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I wrote it down for you and if I can figure out how to add it, later I will but if not I wanted to put it in writing so that you could see it and give you guys a chance to maybe write it down as I'm telling you. So the first thing you're going to do is determine your heart girth. Your heart girth is measured by around the pig's legs and measured the circumference of the pig to get his heart girth. Then you're going to measure the length and remember this is from the base of the ears to the base of the tails. Now what we're going to do is we're going to square the heart girth to get your hearth girth results, okay? So that's what your heart, your new hearth girth results is your amount squared. Then you're going to multiply the heart girth by the length. Now after you've done that and you've got that number, you're going to divide by 400, and then the um, number that you end up with when you divide by 400 is the answer in pounds. So what that means is when you do this last step, you will look at it and that'll be your poundage. So here's basically what we've got with our piggy when I came back and measured. So I'm gonna put this here so you can still see as we go along. Determine the heart girth. Our pig's heart girth was 45, or excuse me, our pig's around was 45.5. Now what you do to do something square is you take this number and you times it by itself. So 45.5 times 45.5 equals 2047.5. This is our heart girth results. Okay. Now remember the next step once you get that is you're going to multiply your heart girth by your length. So our heart girth is 2000. 47.5 times our length, which our length on this pig was 52.5. And when you take this number, you put it in the calculator, or if you're that good at math and you figure it out yourself, your answer is 107,493.75. Now, you're gonna take this number, remember down here, you're gonna divide by 400. So 107,493.75 divided by 400. I've pre-done this because trust me, you do not want me to try to do the math live on video. After I divided that using my calculator, remember it's okay to use your calculator. Your answer is, what was my answer? 268.73. So Red Boy is almost 269 pounds, and that's perfect. When I called the butcher and I asked, what's the average weight a pig is when they come into a butcher? He says usually around 250 pounds. You can take them in when they're smaller or when they're bigger, depending on how much bacon you want. And the way you do that is you kind of feel behind their back leg 
between their back leg and their front leg. And if you get a lot of meat, kind of like what I got on me, that's good bacon. That's a lot of bacon. If there's not a lot there, there's not a lot of bacon. If there's more there, you're going to have a lot of fat. So you don't want them to get too fat. Um, we're going to take two of our hogs in this time. We've got two boys that we're going to take. Ours are cut boys. They're castrated. And we take those um, because I don't like boar goats, uh, excuse me, wrong animal, boar, um, boar hogs because they, their meat can be a little bit uh, gamey with the testosterone that runs through them. So we purchase all of our uh, goats already cut. Um, and then this way we don't have to worry about it. Now I've done some reading up on it and um, the reason why is because our neighbor's boy who is not cut decided to come over and visit. So um, he is a boar and I was looking at that. He's huge too. He's like 450 pounds easy. But um, I asked him why they kept him, you know, intact and they use him as a breeding pig, which is kind of ironic because he got my girl. Um, and then um, they said that they go ahead and butcher him like that. So I was kind of concerned. Um, come to find out only 25% of boar hogs actually have that taste in them and usually the lighter colored pigs are less likely to have that gamey taste. But I've always just got mine cut to begin with and we've never had a problem. Um, now that kind of changes our game here at, at the homestead because originally our, our plan was to keep them when they were a little bit bigger and then take all three in. But now since it looks like we're in the pig raising business instead of the pig slaughtering business, um, we need to get the boys in away from her because we're going to be making her pen smaller so that she can have babies. Um, so that means we're going to be going to the butcher. Um, our neighbors butcher their own. I'm not that good yet. We go to the butcher. Um, we will be making a pen because we do not have a trailer and hopefully I'll get some video of that and post it up for you of taking what we got and making it work because we weren't planning on taking them to butcher just yet. Um, I guess that's about everything. You know, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom. I'll be happy to get back with you. Please like and subscribe and as always, take what you got and make it work. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day.